Hi folks, we're going to tie uh, a very effective modern uh, CDC pattern. Uh, this is one of these ones that's now got a, an anagram name, but the original was it, it ought to be banned. So, Iobo, as it's called now, uh, very, very effective pattern. Uh, it's good in small sizes. Uh, this particular one is being tied on a TMC 2488 uh, and this is a size 20 but don't be don't be fooled by the size of this hook it will take very big fish uh, and again this uh, maybe one of, uh, we often talk about our fly tying gear this uh, this vice that I'm using is a a Renzetti rotary vice, and again uh, you can tie saltwater flies, big big hooks right down to these. The thread I'm using is a 12 volt wax thread, uh, semper fly, and this is a brown olive, and that's just because I want a little bit of a hint of olive into the into the fly. Uh, we're gonna form down the body trim off our tail piece and then we want uh, simply one CDC feather uh, but I'm going to tie this in just short of the eye about one millimeter back now I want to I'm going to make a hackle with this effectively but I don't want to tie in this uh, real thick stocky bit because if I show here see the way it can crack uh, we, we want to avoid that so I get rid of that just don't want it and then I'm going to I'm going to trim and leave about four millimeters of stock and introduce the hackle onto the hook with the curved face facing backwards and Tie that hackle in, and again with this stuff we can give it a good. So now I'm gonna, you'll see the way how easily that uh, stock almost cracked over onto the hook shank. Just want a small downsize with CDC. So I'm just making a little olive body there. Most of that will be hidden. Uh, these are my CNF hackle pliers, probably the best ones in the market for for grip. They're a touch heavy, but they're very good for grip. So I'm going to effectively double this hackle. <laughs> I knew that might happen. Well, just reposition them. Nothing, nothing lost. So each turn, effectively, I'm going on top of the previous ones that are brushed back, which I suppose isn't normal looking, but... So we're nearly at the back here, and then finish in the upward position. Two turns there, disconnect your hackle pliers. And then we're going to come forward in open turns. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put the silk in my other hand and have it facing me. Then pull this cap out over the back, but not too tight. And then do a pinch and loop with this hand and effectively let the bobbin fall through to produce a pinch and loop. So I've got this little body now with a little I suppose a little hump back. A couple of turns there. A couple of turns in front. And again this is slightly more awkward with my camera. And a little whip finish here. Pull that tight. 
and then with my little cutter take that off now obviously this is a little bit long so I'm going to cut that shorter uh, if there's a couple of fibers sticking out the back which you might be able to see here I actually think that helps the fly so I leave those on uh, this fly is typically only good for a few fish uh, but you see it's it's a two material fly I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, and again it's a it's a very good midge pattern hope you enjoyed it uh, again like and subscribe and thanks for all the new subscribers very much appreciated